It is an absolute treat to be booked into a premium economy seat and not have to pray for an upgrade. Welcome to Creative Wandering, the home of videos for dailycreatives.com, where I'm trying to answer the question how to design a lifestyle you don't need a vacation from. We covered four continents, 19 countries, and 35 cities. Now we are happy to be back home in Canada. Check out dailycreatives.com. Two times per week, I will update the blog with interesting perspectives, cooking, projects, designing a life I don't need a vacation from. Beneath the seat in front of you with lighter articles in the overhead band. Thank you. Madame, the next is going to be a very comfortable security. Air Canada now operates a premium economy service on many long-haul routes featuring a separate cabin, seats with greater recline, they are wider, have more legroom, including a footrest. The Seatback Entertainment is an 11-inch touchscreen TV with loads of entertainment options. The meals are a little nicer, served with real dishes, cutlery, and wine and glasses. A little more choice is afforded in the menu. Along with the in-flight comfort kit, an increased baggage allowance, and priority boarding, a little more can mean a lot. As Vancouver sits on the Pacific Rim, the direct flight to Hong Kong heads north and west. You can follow the whole journey at any point of the flight by navigating to the journey map. There are many different views to orient the plane's heading from various points of view, as well as checking in on all the statistics like ground speed, time of day, and expected time of arrival. The whole trip takes well over 12 hours, leaving Vancouver at lunchtime and arriving in the mid-afternoon of the next day. Welcome to the future. Getting from Hong Kong Airport into the city is so easy. You pick up the MTR Airport Express train that runs directly into Kowloon Station without even a stop. Kowloon Station is situated in the Sinsa Shui area at the southernmost tip of West Kowloon and is ideally placed for major residential, commercial, hotel, retail and parking facilities. Union Square is a commercial and residential real estate project in Hong Kong on the West Kowloon Reclamation, covering 13.54 hectares, approximately the size of the Canary Wharf development in London. As of 2011, the site contains some of the tallest buildings in Hong Kong, including the 118-story ICC and the loftiest residential tower where I was staying, the Kulinan, at 270 meters high. You would never guess that this would be the view over Victoria Harbor just a few days after the super typhoon, but that is how quickly the skies clear and everything returns to normal in Hong Kong. usually be part of my tourist program, the ferry, obviously. Because I think it's just cute. It's nice. The Star Ferry is the passenger ferry service, operator and tourist attraction in Hong Kong. Its principal route carries passengers across Victoria Harbour between Hong Kong Island and Kowloon. Twelve ferries run two routes across the harbour carrying over 70,000 passengers per day or 26 million per year. Even though the harbour is crossed by railway and road tunnels, the Star Ferry continues to provide an inexpensive mode of harbour crossing. Plus, it's just a lot of fun.
I loved getting the opportunity to hang out with my girlfriend in Hong Kong. You never know how long someone's going to live in such an amazing address overlooking Victoria Harbour, getting to go out to the great restaurants in the city and just live like I don't live normally at home. It was amazing to see that nothing had really changed since we had been there in February of this year. Even though the super typhoon had blown through, there was hardly any evidence that it had happened. It is amazing how industrious the people of Hong Kong are to get back to normal as quickly as possible. The weather was gorgeous, which was a huge difference to the time we spent there in February when it was very cool in the days leading up to Chinese New Year. I will take the opportunity to hang out in Hong Kong whenever I can. I hope you enjoyed this tour of Hong Kong. Not so many sites that I showed in this video, but you can check out the other ones in the links in the description box below. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Head over to dailycreatives.com.